All right, today's adventure was moving the uh, wood rack into the uh, grow tent. Believe it or not, these three little cards were sitting to my back left and they were putting out some heat. And I'm just going, what is happening? I had no idea the three cards would do that. Well, plus the power supply. So I decided to just take the time, unplug the you know cords, reroute the power cables, and uh, stick it in the grow tent on top of the old uh, wire rack. And it looks fine. Fits right in there. And we're going to go with that. We're going to go with that right now. So this one I have CPU mining. Raptorium with nice hash mining. And by that I mean it's mining ETH hash, but paying me out in Bitcoin on nice hash. And I'm still going through this because this boy over here is the 6380 Ti's running NB miner for their most efficient LHR mode getting me a uh, high 80s hash rate and I'm going to ether mine and I'm still waiting for my payout because I set it low the uh, payout fee the GUI or G whatever that thing is the uh, gas fee of 40 because I don't want to I don't want to mine and work my butt off getting this working and pay these pay all these fees because that's why I kind of still run windows and just self-manage this stuff a KVM switch and uh, Google's remote Chrome desktop to just check on stuff because what's nice about Google Chrome Desktop, the connection, is uh, you can have them all up. And uh, if one goes out, it just goes gray. It's kind of a good way to say it's offline. You don't get any emails or anything. Maybe you could set that up. I'll have to check that. Uh, you don't get any emails, but at least you can see visually. Let me see if I can show you guys what I am talking about. All right, right here. Here's the rigs. This is Google's remote. Chrome desktop and you can see all the little rigs I have here this is my old one this is the 2013 PC I slapped on five hodgepodge mix, mix mismatch a mix mismatch of uh, GPUs a couple laptops this is the wood rack one and then this is a Intel one I got just to play with CPU mining I don't have any cards for it Again, I couldn't get, this is the one I couldn't get the motherboard to boot. Finding out all along, it was, it was this stupid monitor. See, the monitor works fine when it's hooked on a three-head display. But hooking the HDMI into this motherboard, it was, it was an Asus mother. It was a nightmare. I, what the heck? It wasn't triggering it. The HDMI wasn't picking up the signal. Here, I thought it was the motherboard because there's no bells and crap on it or buzzers or lights. So I went and bought the little plug-in. The little speakers right here if you can see the dongle in the back there right there where my finger is I just plug that into the uh, front LED I mean the front um, uh, uh, switch right there the outputs I hooked in right next to the power switch you can hook in the little horn speaker whatever you want to call it so now I can hear the thing beat up and post and all that I'm still mining using uh, Windows and like I said, Chrome connection, remote Chrome connection, I can use to see if anything drops off. Or you also, in NiceHash and Ethermine, you do get a notification that, hey, the worker's offline, so you can go check. Um, right now, I'm back with this guy, the 370 Ti. I decided to crank up the power limit right here, back to 52. And it's at 149 power, and they say running about 150. And then look, boom, it doesn't like that. This card hates that level. I'm going to push this guy back. Oh, there it goes. It hates that. Oh, you just witnessed it. It hates this settings right here. So if you guys have better settings, let me know. I'm going to go back to 50 power, and it was running for like 24 hours on 50 power. I'm getting errors. MB minor restarted. So this is just a day in the life monitoring this crap. But hey, it's gin and money. Uh, what else? So we got this on, like I said, nice hash, don't eat, everything on the eat hash, right? Except the CPU guys, which are doing Raptorium. This is the old gaming PC with the five. That is going right to eat hash and uh, on the uh, nice hash, paying out in Bitcoin. 
and like I said here, Ethermine, and then I'm going to fix that and do the 370 Ti. And what else do I got? Oh, over here I was going to show you guys. This was a good lesson when I was having a, the supposed motherboard boot issue. I'm thinking, oh my God, did I not get the right parts? Did I listen to Amazon and just buy their recommended parts? You know, you buy something below. It says, here, get this CPU with this memory. And I'm thinking, oh, did I get the wrong ones? And they just put it there. It was incorrect. So now what I do, you can go in here and pick your CPU. You know, for this one, I just was playing with this. Oh, this is the actual issue. This, I saved it. So this is the Z590V, and this is when I was having an issue, which, again, like I said, was the monitor. Always check everything. I did not think the monitor was an issue because it works. It just doesn't work when you're going into a motherboard. I don't know. And what you can do is put in your components you're going to start buying. Say you prefer to start with a CPU. But what are the, what are the, what's the compatibility? And then you can start adding and it kind of helps you with the compatibility here. And then if there's any notes, you can go down and check the notes. Like, eh, maybe not work with this, but you might need this memory. Uh, this was very helpful. And it helped me confirm that since I got this motherboard that this memory was good. Oh, I do have CL14 memory. That, all right, I'll talk about that in a sec. And then that is good with this CPU and you're not just going oh my god did I get the wrong CPU did I put it in wrong blah 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 and then no this confirms you're good and then it helps you diagnose any problems you have freaking motherboard issues but it's not <laughs> check everything <laughs> almost have two monitors standing by you know I was gonna buy one of those remote raspberry monitors for like 80 bucks I don't I don't need to spend that so I gotta check this memory so they say for CPU mining Go with the Ryzen, uh, I don't have a box. Go with the Ryzen CPUs and again get the uh, CL14 memory because it, I don't know, faster exchange between CPU and, I don't know, memory, who knows? Something like that, it's just faster. Uh, good, good to get. So this is Corsair Vengeance. Memory's hard to get right now. CPUs are, you can get them. Ryzen especially, but they jacked up the price. It's just like GPUs. Eh, you know, i lucky I was able to get two, there's my cheat sheet, I was able to get 239, uh, what I get? Ryzen 9 39X, 3900Xs, and I saw them on, yeah, I have it here in note, I saw it on eBay for 420, I waited uh, six, eight hours to go order it, damn thing jacked up to 520, and the same on Amazon, jacked up to 520, now they're 560 or so, uh, it's ridiculous. But that's the nature of the game, right? So uh, we're running over here now. There's the old thing. This is my day-to-day. -day. I know it's, it's laborious, and maybe Hive OS could be eventually the way to go. But I need to, the goal is to get three more cards on this rig, which is the wood one. Get three more cards here. Whatever I can get, man, I'm just happy to score a card at this point, you know? And I can make it work, and the miners are getting better, so that if it's LHR, it can give you a decent hash rate. Will you get your ROA? I don't know. Again, this is a hobby, speculative mining stuff for me right now. I mean, speculative in that it's generating revenue, but am I going to get an ROI? I don't know. It's it, Why not try it? Uh, let's see. So I'm going to get three more here. This guy, I don't want to put any more. I'm going to stick with maxing out on six. There's no need to go any more on rigs. It's not, I don't need that headache because, again, just figuring out to get six on this, and it's all learning, is that, again, the CMS thing, turning that off on this motherboard, on most motherboards, to recognize most of the GPUs. UEFI boot, yeah. Going with getting rid of the CSM support, disabling that, and going with the UEFI. Uh, and I had a problem on this board. I think it rebooted and I didn't save one of my settings. So it had CSM disabled by default. Actually, it was this one. Had CSM dis disabled by default. So now we're away from the fans. It's better. And now, why is this not booting? And I ran out of a uh, SATA drive. So I'm running a USB and it works fine. Uh, ideally, I should, get more, I should get more SATA drives. 
And uh, I just had to go in and enable CSM for this to boot up. It wasn't recognizing this as a bootable. If I had it UEFI master boot record thing on it, it would have recognized it. So now when I build this, when I do a Win to USB to flash my Windows drives, I have to remember to do the um, UEFI. I think I can do that. I haven't done it. I've always done just the legacy stuff, the master boot record stuff. So that's it. So today's plan is to see what I need to order. I got a couple motherboards coming. I think I need power supplies. Uh, I got to get those and I got to get some memory for them. And I think that's all I need. Oh, and SATA, I think I did order enough SATA drives. I have to check. Yeah, once I get that. So I think order a couple of power supplies if I can find them <laughs> cheap. Uh, maybe eBay. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll look around. Uh, power supplies, memory, and check on SATA display. And that should be good to go and see if there's any GPU deals. But right now, everything's so high, even on eBay. Um, here, here's a 360 Ti. I just decided to play and just out of curiosity, see what can I get for this. I saw a guy started an auction at $600. He made up to $970 before 13% eBay fees. So he still made, I don't know, a few hundred bucks off this little card. I'm thinking, so I did it. I started mine at 600. It's at 740 right now. So at least I know a break even and a little sum after eBay takes their 13% tax. And, uh, but I'm hoping it goes to 900 because with that money, I can buy more CPUs, Ryzen's. I don't know. That's the plan. Kind of like sell what you got. You know, the question was put it to mining, but I just wanted to do the experiment on eBay to see if I can make money reselling it, you know, picking it up. That was the thought process there. I would still want to beef up some of these GPUs and go from there. And like I said, even even I uh, scavenged this old GTX 760 just for a video out. And because this is discrete graphics, so I needed to have a video card when I booted up to see what was going on. And it still works. It, it pump out using the Microsoft Display Adapter. You can still see stuff on the screen. Uh, when I started, I didn't know anything. I don't know what I don't know. Maybe a lot of bio stuff you learn. Troubleshooting, like I said, compatibility matrices, making sure stuff works. How to monitor your rigs, and then how to you know throttle these puppies for overclock settings. Uh, and you're doing it by hand. This is all down in the weeds. You're not using Hive OS to use their flight sheets to set your uh, overclock settings. You can set them, but they usually have custom or preferred settings. You can set them there, but this is just doing it old school, like MSI Afterburner, setting these things and then seeing what works. And then you'll see the screen flash, like, oh no, I crashed it. Uh, I need to uh, get my payouts. I'm gonna get my payouts and I wanna maybe, you know, e Ethereum's down, but I wanna get some payouts and maybe pay for some of this crap. There we go, oh crap, yeah, we're down. Ethereum's down to 42, Bitcoin 60. I, I, I will admit I did buy some at this level, Bitcoin. Uh, what's Litecoin at? The dreaded Litecoin. Dun, dun. Come on, man, go to 400. I want that thing to go 400 so I can at least, I don't know, make a couple bucks. And then, of course, they'll tax the heck out of me. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Go forth, do great things. Where's that dog? Where's the dog? Oh, this is the dog. Look at him. We made a new logo with him. We got a logo with him in front of a Bitcoin. And he's got a little yellow miner's cap. Right? He don't care. He's sleeping while he's making money mining. And he likes the heat. He likes the heat of the, of the grow tent. <laughs> All right, I'm out.